Hello, welcome to this lesson in the Calculus 1 Limits. We're going to continue solving problems with left hand and right hand limits. Uh, we're just going to work ad some additional problems to give you practice. So, um, if we had the limit as x approaches 1 from the right, that's what that means, of the function x squared plus 3x minus 4 over x squared minus 1. Um, so this is the function that we're trying to take the limit of. Now, when you're taking one-sided limits, you need to mentally be telling yourself, in this case we're coming from the right, so you need to be mentally telling yourself that you're coming from the right. Okay. So the first thing you can do is try to plug in the value to see what you get. Well, if you plug it in, you'll get 1 plus 3 minus 4, so 4 minus 4 on the top, that's 0. And then you'll have 1 minus 1 on the bottom, so you're going to get your famous 0 over 0 in determinate form. So you can't really just plug it in. So what we need to do is work on factoring and canceling this if we can. So on the top, what we're going to have is x and x, and for 1 times 4 makes 4, so we'll have a plus and a minus. As we multiply these guys and subtract, we'll get our, our 3 in the middle and our negative 4 over there. On the bottom, we will see that this is a difference of two squares, because here we have 1 squared. So this is x plus 1, x minus 1. All right, and so we immediately see that we can cancel these guys, which is awesome, so that we can go down and rewrite everything. We'll take the limit of x approaching 1 from the right of x plus 4 over x plus 1. Now there's no problem. If you plug it in, even though we're coming from the right, there's not going to be any, you know, any uh, discontinuity around the point of interest. So we just plug in 1 plus 4 over 1 plus 1, and we'll get 5 halves. And this is the answer, 5 halves. So in this particular case, it didn't really matter if we were approaching from the right, not so much anyway. Um, but we'll find out that as you work different kinds of problems, it's going to matter very much if you, that you mentally take, keep in your mind that you're approaching from the right or approaching from the left. And one example of that is the following problem. What if I asked you to take the very simple limit as x approaches 0 from the right of the function 4 over x cubed? I said, hey, what is this limit? Um, well, first of all, you're looking at this and not really sure what to do anyway because it's 4 over x cubed. So if you try to plug in x, what you're going to get is 4 over 0. And I've been cautioning you this whole course. I've been saying, hey, be careful if you start getting zeros in the bottom. Well, in this particular case, uh, there's nothing else you can do. I mean, you can't factor the top. You can't factor the bottom. You can't cancel anything. There's, there's literally nothing else you can do. Okay. So what you need to remember, though, is that this is actually, when you take 4 and divide by 0, first of all, you're not really dividing by 0. You're getting really, really, really close to 0, but never quite getting there. So you start dividing by 0.01, and then 0.001, and then 0.0000001. You start dividing by really, really small numbers, but you never divide exactly by 0. So what happens is, in the limit, it keeps getting and driving this fraction bigger and bigger and bigger, so you can kind of mentally tell yourself, when you start dividing by things close to zero, you end up getting infinity. Okay? And infinity is a perfectly valid answer for a limit. I was just cautioning you in the past, if you get zero over zero, you don't know what to do with that, because you don't know which zero, if, whether it's on the top or the bottom, is the one that's more dominant. You don't really know if it's going to go to zero or infinity, so you have to simplify. But if you have a limit where it's just a number on the top and a zero on the bottom, there's no way around it. It's just going to infinity. Now here's the kicker for this one, though. We're approaching this um, zero from the left. So if you were to plot this guy, this is x and f of x, 